What's up guys and check out what I finally found. It's the brand new Spartan Collection Wave and it's Spartan Euroi. Now I was going to review the Series 4 World of Halo figures first as it's what's winning in the poll in my community tab. But then I just have to walk into Target and found him as well as the other figures in the wave here. So I was like, you know what? These are too cool. I'm going to have to do these first. Especially this Halo 2 Master Chief. Really looking forward to reviewing him. As well as Jun here. Getting closer to completing that Noble Team. Just need Carter and George. And also Halo Infinite Campaign is downloading as we speak. And I will probably play that after I edit or review this. I'm not sure yet. Oh and a fun fact before we get started. Yoroi is actually a Japanese word. Pronounced Yoroi. And it actually stands for armor. And specifically samurai armor. So I mean when you look at it it's like. It's a perfect name for it. Although translated, it's Spartan Samurai Armor, which doesn't sound quite as cool. So, Yoroi sounds a lot better. All right, I'm excited for this guy and the game. I'll do the game later, but let's review him now. All right, starting with the box, here's a closer look at the front. If you didn't get a good look already, here's the side here. Nice glam shot there, pretty boring on top. Eh, on the side and then bottom meh. but then here's the back with an awesome glam shot right there comes with the energy sword energy energy sword disruptor and the additional hands here's the other figures which i have i ended up skipping on him because he looked exactly the same as the one i have already just with a plasma pistol but he also comes with a plasma pistol so it's like what is but anyways here is the important part here's the upc in case you want to go and find him Okay, first off, gotta make two points here on the packaging, which I really like. First off, there are no zip ties, you know, those little plastic tie things. I hate those so much, especially with it. as a toy reviewer. You review a lot, having to cut those. Eh. And also, improvements here, too. They got this, which actually holds the hands in place, which is great. Oh, jeez. And there he is, guys, out of the package. Spot on the Yaroi. Sounds so cool. And his accessories. Now, I do want to say first off that I have no idea when we're actually going to get this helmet and this armor coating because 343 really is milking this whole Tenrai event. Like, seriously. But at least I already unlocked the base armor coat, so I, at least I'm, I'm good to go. It was kind of a pain. You guys know the challenges were ridiculous. Like, seriously, one of the recent challenges was like take down an enemy wasp. It's like, how often do you see a wasp in the game? I'd probably have better luck going to a tree and looking for like a wasp nest and going whoosh. But I can't complain too much because 343 is doing a pretty good job fixing it pretty fast. So I mean, it should all probably be, you know, sorted out by this time next year. But anyways, let's go and take a close look at Spot and Yoroi. All right, now starting with the head, whoo hoo, look at that head sculpt. Oh, and that paint application. It looks incredible. Jazzwares really did a great job on this. And these are a little bit soft too, not too soft, so they actually hold their shape. Same thing with his little kind of antenna eye, <laughs> or something like that up here. I don't know what this is called. Looks really awesome though, and just look at that. I love the shiny visor. They did such a great job. The details are incredible. Now this little top piece right here is actually glued on, and it's glued on pretty straight, which is nice, thankfully, and it's pretty solid too. But a really cool feature is, check this out. He's got a slot for an AI in the back of his helmet. Now that's that's attention to detail right there. And moving into the body, Jazzwares really outdid themselves this time. Just look at the sculpting. It looks incredible. And the paint applications as well. There's just so much. Just The paint apps alone are great. And then they actually had added some weathering there as well, which just looks incredible. I'll just look, look at all that gold. It, it looks almost like Iron Man from the back here, but it just, the details are insane. Just look at all that. It's like, wow. Man, I am impressed with this figure. Now this back piece right here, it looks like it should be able to pop out, you know, to maybe holster a weapon or something, but I have no idea how to get that out if it was supposed to. It looks like there's supposed to be a finger slot right there, but I can't get my nail or anything or finger in there and it, I can't pull it out. But. Uh, it, it might be a feature. And as for these right here, this is actually a separate piece. This top portion right here, and then this bottom portion is a separate piece. They're all glued on there onto the body, which is pretty cool. And what's kind of nifty is, I don't know if it's nifty, but mine pops apart really easily for some reason. So you can kind of see the inside there. But because of that, you can actually see the extra detail they went to when it came to sculpting this. Pull this out. Check this out. You got these little kind of pointy things right there which actually get hidden when you slide it into the body so you never even really see it but it's there which is pretty cool 
and then you got some more weathering there. These pieces right here, you can now see that they're actually glued on, but man, they're just so nicely detailed. And then these yellow spots right here, that's, I don't know, to me that's impressive because it's on the back of the figure, which usually they don't pay as much attention to the back. And since they're so small, that's something that I can see companies skipping on to save money, but not this time. Whew. And since we have them apart right now, I really want to show you how they glued on these little armor pieces here. They're soft, which is great, but ch you know, they, they get out of the way when the legs move, which is just such a great design choice. I love this soft plastic. They're really improving because the old ones had hard plastic everywhere, but check out how it's connected. It's connected, let me brighten it up. Okay, there we go. That should make it easier to see. It's connected by that one point right there, as you can see. Hopefully it doesn't tear, but it, it's pretty soft, so it should be okay. And then there's that point right there. Then on the back here as well, it's connected by that back section right there. And because of that, and here's the front here, just that front, it gives it so much flexibility and just ability to move out of the way. So you can really pose this guy quite a bit. So really impressed with this soft kind of material that they used. It's just, whew. but anyways, let's go and put them back together now. It's just, they really did an incredible, Incredible job. Just look at how great that looks once it's fully assembled and just the amount of paint and details that they put into it is just off the charts, yo's. Although if you look here, the legs don't really have any of that pop out features like Mr. Chief over here where you could pop his little side out and flip it around to put the pistol on as you can see, but eh, it's okay. He's a, he's a Yorori Samurai, so he'll just slice you up with energy sword. He doesn't need a pistol. But anyway, since we seem to be moving down the legs, we'll stick to the legs and go back up to the arms later. But here's more detail on the inside of the legs there. Has kind of the inner Japanese kind of, you know, the cloth that they wear, wore underneath their Samurai suits or whatnot. That's kind of bleh, but it's okay. You can paint that over with some black there. But then look at the details on his knees right here as well. Also semi-soft, not too soft, so they hold their shape, which is awesome, but man, they put so much detail into it, and you can see that right there. Although the knee joint looks kind of weird doing that. It's just, I don't, I don't really know about that knee joint. I'm not sure if I'm really feeling it, because it looks really weird. I mean, I really like Master Chiefs from the original one a lot better, as you can see. It looks a lot cleaner, still kind of weird, but Cleaner, so I don't know. It could be, could be because of the plastic that they use, because they do use softer plastic now, which is more bendier, which is actually a good thing because these older ones had more harder plastic, which made them more brittle. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know if they'll actually break, but I don't know. I don't. I don't like that brittleness. So definitely like the new plastic better. Anywho, here's a closer look at his calves here, and just look at the detail as well. Lots of weathering, and then the gold there. Just love the paint choices. They better give us this armor coating in the game, and it better not be too hard to get. Like I don't know, kill 85 million Spartans with a chain gun and a warthog while flying through the air. I don't know what. 343 has in store for us. Anyways, there's a feet there, which look pretty awesome as well. Nice gold right there. And then there's the bottom of it. And these are actually pretty sharp. They're kind of pointy. So uh, don't kick yourself in the face with it. All right, now moving back up to the arms here. This is really cool. I really like this. First off, it just looks amazing. I mean, just look at all that detail there. But here's the thing that I really like. Look at this. It's soft plastic, so when you move it up, it actually kind of just gets out of the way and flexes. And you guys, if you saw my original Master Chief review, you know how just amazing this is because this guy, the Wave 1 that they have, you guys remember, his shoulder piece broke off when I moved it up too high because it's just hard plastic. I'm not going to push it. So definitely major improvements with these soft piece plastics right here. It's just... Oh man, they're really improving this line. Then of course, here's a closer look at the forearm here with some cool details. This also is soft, as you can see, and it's glued on, so it kind of flexes out of the way, although I don't think it really needs to when you fully extend it. But anyways, here's his hand here, which looks pretty awesome, and he's pointing at the air. Only you can prevent forest fires. But anywho, a nice thing too is they have soft joint plastics right here for the Elbow, as you can see, it has some nice flex to it, and I think that is actually a plus because it makes the joints hold their shape or their placement a lot better. Same thing with the shoulder. Going forward, you can see it holds its place. 
a huge improvement over the original Wave 1. Here's the Mark 7 here. Turn that light off, Harrison. And you can see his arm is just flappy doodle. It's like, woo! It's like, it's like hello! Yeah! Whoa, that was kind of cool. Okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe this soft joint isn't an improvement. Oh, and random fun fact, he's not all slippery from mold release like some figures are, and... It doesn't stink either like other toys, which is kind of bad because I do like that new toy smell. Well, I don't know. Yeah, he doesn't stink. And as for articulation, his head does rotate in a full circle, which is pretty impressive. Got a tad bit of side to side. Might just be the looseness of the joint. Then he looks not very far up, but he can look down at least. Arm rotates in the usual circle and it holds its position very nicely, which I like. Shoulder joint goes up about that much there and can go more when you flex that thing there. He's got the bicep swivel there, goes about that much because of the shoulder armor. And then you got the double jointed elbow right there, goes about that much. And then the hand that spins in a circle and does a flap do. Now it looks like he's supposed to have a butterfly joint there. It looks like it should. I mean, the other figures have, like here's the Mark 7 from the original one. He has a butterfly joint. But if you pop this off and take a closer look inside here, let me turn up the brightness. Okay, I really blew out the, the light so you can see it. But anyways, if you look closely there, you can see that it's actually flat there. The connection point is flat on that side and also flat on that side, which means that there shouldn't be any movement because it's just enabled to. So it looks like you should have butterfly joints, but I, I don't I don't think they are. As for torso pivot, eh, form over function, but I'm not complaining. And as for his legs, they go that far forward here. You gotta be a little bit careful. It goes quite a bit forward and by careful this is what I mean you want the knee joint to go underneath the armor because if you don't pay attention and you just randomly quickly whip it up you might get get it caught like that or something and you could as you can see you see how it's starting to flex and like that you could damage it or potentially tear it so be careful make sure that the knee goes underneath the loincloth armor but it doesn't go very far back at all because as you can see right here his little big old booty there is just kind of stopping it so that's not going nowhere and he actually has some really nice splits he can go quite a bit far to the sides up oh, caught the knee armor again got to be careful with that don't let it catch that but anyways it goes quite a bit like that here's another thing to be careful of is he has very soft knee joints as you can see so you don't want to be moving this out like this because you're gonna bend that you want to move it out at the thigh so hold the thigh which is a hard joint and then push that out that's how you want to do it and he also has a thigh swivel as you can see right there moves nicely except for the back it only goes so far because once again plop, gets stuck on that booty skull this Spartan dummy thick but anyways it's got double jointed knees there that go quite a bit back but it looks kind of weird I still love the wave one master chief knee joint a lot better look at that looks a lot cleaner to me I don't know I, I kind of want this knee joint to come back but I'm sure they have their reasons and his ankle goes that far forward that far back and does rotate in a circle as well you kind of have to pull it forward a bit it won't rotate very much if you have it full locked in the back and then his pointy witch toe that'll poke your eye out go that far forward and that far back actually can you imagine this as an assassination in the game i mean okay check this out well first off they have to bring assassinations into the game if they ever do that but check this out so it's just like doot, 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 doot. Ooh, that would really hurt yeah, insta-kill. Or, or how about like the ultimate nut shot? Just... <laughs> okay, anyways, having too much fun there. And for accessories, it comes with punch two in the back, insta-kill, depending on hit detection, hands. This hand again. And two energy sword hands, left or right, because he is ambidextrous. There that goes. And for one of his weapons, he comes with a disruptor, which I don't know how to use in the game. I just, I just don't use it, which is probably why I don't know how to use it. But anyways, it's got some decent flex to it, but it also holds its shape, which is great. Cool grips too. Then he comes with an energy sword, which is pretty sweet looking. Look at all that detail right there. Nice handle there. And then it's just nicely painted on both sides. Got a little bit of flex to it, but it does hold its shape overall. Definitely don't leave it in a toy box or something where it's bent because it will definitely bend. And this energy sword is actually the exact same sculpt as the green dude from series two here, except the purple paint is a lot deeper and richer this time around. And here's the kicker. This one is painted on both sides while this one is not. So this is definitely an improvement. Oh, and here's another big improvement. Okay, check this out. First off, we're gonna install 
the energy sword onto the Spartan Yoroi hand here. We're just going to slide that in. It slots in very nicely. As you can see, it just it holds its shape great. Here's the great part. Check out this joint. All right, now we'll get Greeny right here, and then we'll pull his hand out and check out his joint right there. See how it's super tiny? And see how this one's nice and thick? Now, previously, this greeny dude right here was the only dude that came with an energy sword and the energy sword hand. But the problem with this hand is all the other figures that are in the Spartan collection have the thicker jointed hands, which are like this. It's going to get Noble Six here. Pop his hand off. As you can see, his is the thick hand, which matches Yoroi as opposed to Greeny Dude, which means that previously I wanted to put this energy sword on the other figures, but check it out. You know, you try to put it on a Noble Six here, it's just like, oh, hey, it works, right? And then, whoop, falls right out. But, oops, popped his head off there. <laughs> There's a reason I loosened his head. I'll get to that in a bit. But anywho, now that the Yoroi hand has the nice thicker joint, aside from this paint right here, you can actually stick it into Noble Six and then it actually stays on. So now he can hold an energy sword. 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 He has an energy sword and it goes for the rest of the Spartan collection figures as well, which is great. Actually, with Palmer, the Greeny Dude's small hand fits better instead of the Yuri's big hand right here. It's too thick and... Oh, jeez. I hear the jokes coming already. <clears throat> Anyways, same thing for the uh, Red Spartan Mark Seven. The small Greeny Dude hand fits better in him. Actually, Greeny Dude's small hand also fits into the original Series 1 Master Chief as well. I clearly didn't do a very good job testing these prior, but hey, there you go. But anywho, back to Spartan Yoroi. That's what he looks like, wielding the energy sword and the disruptor. And if you happen to have him as well, you can now dual wield energy swords. Man, imagine if they had this in game. It, I don't know if it actually would do anything because one is already powerful enough, but damn, imagine him running at you. It's like, I quit uninstall. But anywho, going back to why Noble Six's head is loose is because Yoris, Yo, Yoro, wow, I can't pronounce it now. But anyways, his head comes off too. Okay, took a little bit of effort to pull it off. Uh, just to warn you, if you do do that, be careful where your grip hold is because you don't want to accidentally tear these when you're going, ripping the head off. But anyways, that's the ball joint right there. And as you can see, they have the same size ball joint pretty much, which means that you can now give Noble Six some Yoroi's head armor right here. Yeah, there we go, just like that. And then Yoroi armor can have Noble Six's head, just like so. I mean, that, that's, that's pretty cool right there, if, if I don't say so myself, which is kind of self-fulfilling. But anyways, check that out. That's, that's kind of interesting, right? Cool look. And the same thing goes for Jerome as well. Actually, you know what? I don't think that works quite as well. But, you know, who knows? You, you might like it. It's a really long neck on that one, but cool. But unfortunately, it won't work on the original Series 1 Master Chief because his head joint is just weird. See that right there? Definitely wouldn't fit, so... Oh, well. Actually, maybe it'll just sit on top. Okay, let's try that there, and, um... Well, these joints are going to interfere with each other. Pretty hard to pull that dog bone joint out, but, um... There you, I guess. I'm sure somebody could, oh well, somebody could probably make that work. But actually, check this out. Master Chief with the Yoroi head doesn't look half bad. You kind of have to hold it on there, but I mean, looks pretty cool, right? I mean, I'd run that. And for some comparisons, here he is next to his fellow Spartan collection, Spartans. Chief and Jerome are definitely still a tad bit taller. And of course, here's a few more. I'm trying to just kind of fit them on there. It's just a whole cluster fudge there. Here he is next to some World of Halo mini-me Spartans, as well as Craig. Here he is next to some Marvel Legends Eternals. And finally, here he is next to the Mega Bloks Master Chief Halo Infinite Helmet. A Master Chief Funko Pop. The Cable Guys Halo Infinite Master Chief Target Exclusive Light Up Rocket Pack. Cable control controller holder 
person in my Hex Gaming Custom Series X controller with back buttons as well, which I've been using to whoop behind in Halo Infinite. Oh, just kidding, I'm not that good at it. I just keep getting whooped because mouse players just, they, they whoop me. But anyways, yeah, it's pretty though, right? Review of it is up here if you want to see that. Same thing with that. I didn't review him though. I reviewed him too. I review a lot of stuff. Well guys, overall this Spartan Yoroi figure is one of the best figures I think they've done so far in the Spartan line. Everything from the sculpt to the paint app to the weathering, the great joints, the soft plastic pieces for the shoulder and the loincloth, man, they put a lot of effort into this figure and it shows. Microsoft definitely picked the right people for the job when it came to these new Halo figures. Now I would love to see them make the Hayabusa armor to go with him. Oh, 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 oh yeah, that would be awesome. Jazzwares, please do it. But I'll settle for the completion of Noble Team first. Anywho, don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned for the next reviews, which will be Halo 2 Master Chief, Jun, or this dude, Spartan Enigma. I'm not sure which one yet, but I don't know. Maybe I'll put a voting poll. Maybe I won't. Keep an eye out. Why would I pull them away? I don't know. Let me put them back. Let me pull them away. Yeah. Okay, they're just all gone now. Anywho, thanks for watching. If you don't see me in a few days, it's probably because I'm playing Halo Infinite. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.